Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. Shortly after the second test flight of Starship and Super Heavy, I decided to make a Starship and Super Heavy in Kerbal Space Program 2. I've done that before, but I made one using fairings and sort of tucking the tanks in so that I could fit a whole bunch of, well, I think uh, 33 vectors at the bottom. This time I decided to just stick to the 5 meter parts, and so we're using the swivels and reliance, and I couldn't get 33 of them at the bottom there, that got as many as I could. I think that's 27. The problem is they don't provide enough thrust, which is why I originally made the fairing version, fairing covered version previously, but uh, that was a different version of KSP2 as well, so even that probably would not work the same in here now. Uh, we're putting the probe core in for a super heavy there. And so I've tried my best to make a replica, but I found out there were problems. First of all, there wasn't a very good vacuum engine. Uh, here I've uh, tried to put the trumpet, but they were too big, and you can't start the nozzles extended. If we could start the nozzles extended, I could, I would probably gone with them. But yeah, otherwise I decided to just stick to the reliance on those. And I did decide to put landing legs on immediately, uh, because I was very optimistic. In order to have this lift off at all, we have to underfuel the tanks on Super Heavy because otherwise the 27 engines don't provide enough thrust, and this ends up being not so good. Uh, we use a lot of thrust to get not very far, and uh, when I decided to cut out the Super Heavy engines, we, uh, well, we don't have enough height. So that's not going to be any good, and Starship is not going to get to where it needs to go. Also, uh, I used the thrust plate, or the engine plate, for Starship here, but I wanted the engines covered up. You know, like the real Starship, it has the engines sort of tucked in, and so I wanted to change that. One way to get more thrust, I decided to start abandoning the idea of having the right number of engines, and instead put vectors, but we won't be able to put enough vectors to make it seem like the right number of engines, but it's better that it works. I also diminished the amount of payload that we were carrying before we were carrying 66 tons of xenon, and I decided to cut it down to 44 and try again. Still, the acceleration is anemic, and so we're going to have to go with more vectors on the Super Heavy. But, you know, we, we got decent ways, basically just short of Mach 1. But unfortunately, when you separate just short of Mach 1, there is a tendency for things to flip. So uh, you don't really want to separate right there. You want to separate much faster than that. So I decided to go with straight vectors instead. And we ultimately had, I think, 19 of them there. Yeah, that's 19 of them. And then we can fully fuel the Super Heavy, and that'll boost us up further up so that starship separates in a safer at a safer altitude. And since we have more power down below, I put the rest of the xenon in, so we're carrying 66 tons again. And still have, so we have quite a lot of thrust weight ratio. I also fixed the deployment of that uh, engine plate so that it remains covered. But there is a flaw to that. Uh, you see, as we'll eventually find out, that engine plate, if the covering extends below the end of the nozzle of the engines, obstructs the thrust from the engines. So that's going to be a problem. And we're a little bit wobblier this time. And that's because of the amount of thrust we have and also the payload swing back and forth. Uh, that wasn't happening before because we were going so slowly and the gimbling wasn't quite as much. The vectors gimbal quite a lot more, and we have a lot more acceleration, and so we sort of had the payload swinging back and forth all the way up. Don't worry, I will strut that. All this was done during live streams after the my coverage of the launch, I guess you could say, but I just, uh, we, we just watched the launch and talked about it a bit. I took a break and then started doing this. So we did get to separation a little bit further up, and that's when I found out that the thrust is obstructed by the engine plate's fairing, or shroud, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so that's why we can't control it very well, because right now only the reaction wheel on this starship is actually controlling it. Also the fins are a little bit too high up, the, uh, the bottom fins are a little bit too high up, I need to fix that. But yeah, we're not really accelerating here, and 
we are not using the engines to turn or maybe not all of them it's not clear to me the situation so anyway we needed to figure that out a little bit and i decided to use a girder segment or a, a, one of those structural pieces anyway in order to simulate the the hot staging stuff and we added more struts to the payload so now the fairing of the engine plate is a little bit higher up and then we have the hot staging simulated uh, girder, if you will. And I also moderate the thrust as we go up so that it doesn't sway so much. So I've already throttled down a bit. Still, well, it's rocking back and forth. The payload isn't rocking back and forth now. It's the whole starship that's rocking back and forth. So that's not wonderful, but we do get high up enough. One thing I did was I decided to control from the Super Heavy's core instead of the Starship's core, but that creates a bit of a complication here. Um, yeah. It's a little bit confused. And... That's not great, but... Okay, then I switch vessels. But one thing you'll note is the nav ball isn't following this vessel. Even though I've switched vessels, the nav ball is still following the core of the Super Heavy. So that's probably not right. I have to actually switch to control from here in order to control from this instead of the original craft. But anyway, uh, in theory, we could get to orbit at this point, and I probably should have. I really, really should have just brought this to orbit. Um, yeah, yeah. But I decided that we should do that better uh, for cinematic reasons, I guess. And so I wanted to fix it. Unfortunately, my efforts to fix it didn't help anything. I think I tried to use the structural part instead of the engine plate because I wasn't happy with the engine plate swaying and the fact that it blocks the thrust. And so there was basically a structural tube. Unfortunately, the structural tubes aren't very structural. And so they lead the rocket to spaghetti in crazy waves. Ultimately, I think the best thing to do is to not have the engine plate and not have this and just let the engine sit bare instead of trying to cover them up somehow. Uh, I think all this effort to try and make it look exactly like Starship, well, it's obviously not even looking exactly like Starship, but making it look close by covering up the engines like that caused more problems than it was worth. So yeah, and actually each time after this, it just got worse and worse. So, finally, I decided to just launch Starship. <laughs> after all, uh, we have lots and lots of Delta V here. Uh, it doesn't show right now, but we've got enough Delta V to make orbit, just with Starship alone. And I decided to go with it. I put six vectors on. I had uh, gone with different mixes. We originally had the Reliance and the uh, Swivels. I replaced the Reliance with Vectors once we put Vectors on the Super Heavy and I've ultimately put just six Vectors on. So that's what we've got here right now, as you can see there. And here we do indeed make orbit. No problem with that. The problem is I wanted to, it to go to Duna, right? We wanted this to land on Duna, in fact. That's probably a push anyway. but. So we have to refuel it. I put a docking port on it and we need to refuel it. Unfortunately, I had not put any way for it to recharge because I was so fixated on what we were trying to handle there. And it was just sort of meant to be a rocket test, you know, trying to test a new Starship Super Heavy in this version of KSB-2. And I forgot the sort of things that we might need in order to go to Duna. So this is a Super Heavy launching and it's launching with extra fuel for our Starship, meant to dock with Starship, and it's also got a little uh, solar panel truss, so when it docks to Starship, it'll just add that solar panel truss to Starship and decouple that off. But, but, we actually have to be able to dock, and Starship in the meantime has lost all power. So it can orient to help us out, and this Super Heavy doesn't turn very well. We've got the reaction wheel in the core, and we've got some RCS, but it turned out it wasn't powerful enough. So, my attempts to try and get a starship over to Duna has, have so far been very complicated. And maybe we'll pursue this further. I just couldn't dock the Super Heavy to it. Uh, maybe we'll 
try again and try to refuel it and send it over. I'll, I'll try a different design. But for now, I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.